Several thousand people already registered to join Ukrainian Legion in Poland. During the NATO public forum at the Alliances Summit in Washington, Polish Foreign Minister Radoslaw Sikorski said that thousands of people have already signed up to join the Ukrainian Legion, a new volunteer military unit in Poland. According to Sikorski, Poland is preparing to train the country's first Ukrainian brigade, which is composed of volunteers. He said that several thousand have already registered to participate in this conscription. According to Sikorski, there are up to a million Ukrainians of both genders in Poland. The foreign minister highlighted an interesting trend among the volunteers. Many of them really want to serve and rotate their compatriots, but they say, we don't want to be sent into battle without being properly trained and equipped. Sikorsky also said Poland would take on the responsibility of training and equipping these volunteers. The plan is to eventually provide them to Ukraine as a unit with the right to return to Poland after completing their rotation. Sikorsky emphasized the potential impact of such initiatives, saying if every European country did this, Ukraine would have several brigades. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky and Polish Prime Minister Donald Tusk created the Ukrainian Legion of Volunteer Unit on Polish territory. The security agreement with Poland includes non-military cooperation in intelligence activities, cybersecurity, and countering Russian disinformation. Tusk described the agreement as a significant document and reminded that similar deals on mutual security commitments were signed by Kyiv and 19 countries. Unlike other specific legions in the Ukrainian armed forces, such as the Georgian Legion, the Freedom of Russia Legion, and the Belarusian Pahonia Regiment, the Legion will be made up of Ukrainians. The Ukrainian Legion will train in Poland and be equipped with the help of our partners, Zelensky said. Every Ukrainian citizen who decides to join the Legion will be able to sign a contract with the Ukrainian Armed Forces, Zelensky said, adding that our teams are currently working out all the details. The Legion would most likely be trained in military bases that have already been training Ukrainian soldiers as around 20,000 Ukrainian soldiers have been trained in Poland since the start of Russia's full-scale invasion. Ukraine destroyed $200 million worth of Russian missiles in one day. On July the 8th, Russia launched a massive missile strike on Ukraine. Russia spent about 200 to 250 million dollars on this, Forbes reports. The article states that the Russian Federation launched 38 air, sea and land-based missiles at Ukraine. One KH-47M2 Kinzhal aero ballistic missile, four Iskander M ballistic missiles, one 3M22 Zircon cruise missile, 13 X-101 cruise missiles, 14 caliber cruise missiles, 2 X-22 cruise missiles, 3 guided aircraft missiles, KH-59 stroke KH-69. At the same time, the Ukrainian Air Force managed to destroy 30 of the 38 missiles. The cost of the downed missiles is estimated at between $160 million and $200 million. According to the Kiev School of Economics, as of May 2024, due to the full-scale Russian invasion, Ukraine's energy sector suffered direct losses and indirect financial losses amounting to $56.2 billion, the article says. American F-16 fighters will help Ukraine defend itself from Russian missile terror. It is also necessary to strike military aircraft while they are still on Russian territory. This opinion was expressed by military expert Pavel Narozny in a commentary to Focus. According to him, the Russian invaders are looking for ways to overload Ukraine's air defense in order to break through it and strike the necessary targets. Based on the command's statistics, it is clear that the capabilities of Ukrainian air defense systems are insufficient. The West needs to immediately pay attention to the problem and begin supplying long-range weapons. It is better to destroy Russian aircraft at airfields, he believes. Several dozen F-16 fighters will also help cover the skies from Russian massive shelling, the expert says. Belgium, Denmark, the Netherlands and Norway have promised to transfer about 80 F-16 multi-role fighters to Ukraine. The exact dates for sending the first birds are unknown, but this should happen this summer. Earlier, the head of the Danish Air Force, Jan Dam, reported that some of the Ukrainian specialists who were trained to service Western fighters are already in Ukraine.